So today I'm going to be sharing with you my October favourite. It has been a long, busy month. I have been uploading a video every single day and I've loved it, but it's been quite busy and just hectic. It's been a really hectic month. So I thought today I would round everything up because I've tried to switch up my products that I've been using this month and I've got a few kind of fashion and random favourites as well to throw in and hopefully you'll really enjoy this. I love watching favourites videos because if I don't do a haul of everything, every single item that I ever buy, some things kind of just get left by the wayside, you don't get a, you don't get to see my thoughts on products unless I actually do a particular review on something. So favourites is a good way for me to just kind of keep you guys in the loop of what I've really been liking at the moment and that's why I like watching them because you get inspiration and you see different things that you wouldn't necessarily normally see on an everyday basis in normal videos. So I'm going to start off with a couple of fashion bits and they are these earrings from Boohoo and also this jumper from Boohoo. These earrings were £5 I think and this jumper was around the £15 mark, maybe a little bit less. It's so warm and I love the colour of it. I feel like recently I've not really been getting into the autumnal spirit. I've not been wearing many of these colours whatsoever. My Instagram hasn't been very autumnal. Um, it's the bane of my life, Instagram. Um, but I thought I'd get this and add it into my wardrobe and start looking like I'm dressing for winter time. Um, I love that the neck on this jumper isn't a roll neck and that it's just kind of like a high neck. These earrings I love. I've been after a pair like this for a really long time um, but I didn't want anything too out there because now that my hair's shorter I feel like if I wear, I, I just feel like I can't get away with massive, massive earrings. But I love these. I'm so into wearing earrings at the moment. And this video is in no way sponsored or anything like that. I just wanted to share with you something really exciting that I'm doing this month with Boohoo. And I'm actually taking over their blogger shop. So that's the reason why I ordered these earrings and this jumper. Because I had to take an image for them wearing some of their items. So these were a couple of pieces that I chose for that picture. And basically they've asked me to choose 15 items from their website. That I love, that I would personally wear and buy myself, that I could share with all of you and that is going to be going live sometime this week I think. So keep an eye on my social media and things like that if you fancy seeing what my top 15 picks are from Boohoo at the moment. These are genuine favourites, I wanted to share them with you, they're affordable, I'm going to move on to some beauty things now. I have gone back to an old favourite foundation and this is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer and I had the shade 01 which I think was vanilla in this foundation and it was the lightest shade they did. They then bought out 00 which is light natural and it's what I'm wearing today. I've got nothing else foundation wise on my face. I didn't mix anything in with this so the coverage and everything that you're seeing is purely from this foundation. You don't need a lot of it. A little goes a long way. It is amazing coverage and it doesn't, it's kind of like a semi matte finish. It dries really beautifully. It lasts really well. It's affordable. I get mine from Beauty Bay. I'll link everything down below. I think it's about £13 and although it's a little bit tricky because you can't colour match, I always Google swatches. There are plenty available on Google and it's a really gorgeous foundation. I've got so many people on this foundation. My sister wears it now. It's just one that I know will work and will last during the day and is the coverage that I want. It's like a fail safe foundation for me and I'm really glad to have a shade that actually suits me now. The darker shade was a little bit too yellow toned and it was okay if I had a bit of a tan but when I'm pale and not tanned it was just a little bit too yellow for me. Next I have a lip liner and this is from Rimmel and this is one of their Exaggerate Lip Liners and this is in the shade 018 Addiction. So this is what it looks like and I'm actually wearing it on my lips today. It's one of their twist up lip liners and although I love the colour and the formulation of these and for a cheap lip liner they aren't really that uncomfortable to wear compared to a lot that I've tried. I love this, I love the colour, I've been wearing it non-stop. This is very similar to the Charlotte Tilbury Nude Lip Liner. The only thing I find is that with it being the twist up and because it is such a creamy product, it can crumble a little bit so you have to be quite careful when you're applying it. That's my only kind of negative to say about it but it's a really, really gorgeous lip liner and a colour that kind of goes with anything. I finally got round to trying one of the Soap and Glory sheet masks that they launched and this is my favourite of the bunch. This is their Radiance Boosting Mask. It's got vitamin C in it, white flower, brightening complex, cherry blossom, tea extract and it's for dull and lacklustre skin and it works. I pop this on for about 15-20 minutes when I'm feeling like I just need a little bit of a refresh. It's easy to handle, it's not too gloopy, it makes my skin feel hydrated and look more alive once I've used it. It works really well, it's affordable and it's a really really nice way to have a little bit of a pamper that isn't going to take all afternoon, it's just something you can quickly pop on. Moving on to a little bit of a gross um, thing that I've got to show you because I haven't washed it and I apologise but 
I fall back in love with my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. I, nine times out of ten, will use a sponge to apply my foundation and I went back to using my Beauty Blender and I love them. They're just quite pricey. I tried the Eco Tool Sponge, which is the turquoise green one. It was a little bit too hard for me. I just, I didn't get on with it very well. But then I went back to this and I love it. I think I prefer this to the Beauty Blender only because of the shape of it. Because it's got this really round side, I'm sorry that it, it really needs washing. Because it's so dimensional, it works in so many different ways. So I usually use the flat side to go in with my foundation. I use the pointed edge to go in with concealer, this side, the shorter side to pop on my concealer. And then I'll use the other side, which is more rounded and bigger, to go in with powder under my eyes or even over my face if I'm wanting more of a fuller coverage from my powder that I'm pressing it into my skin rather than a light dusting. And it works so well, and I think this is about seven pounds. I love the way that sponges apply products, especially foundation and concealer. I it's my favourite way to apply foundation and it's so quick and once you get used to it, I tried to get my mum and my sisters onto using sponges and I don't think I, any of them do because it's, it is a bit of a pain to keep washing it and they do look a bit grubby just on your dressing table like this but once you get in the habit, it's such a seamless, flawless way to apply foundation and it's so quick. Moving on to a couple of higher end beauty products, I'm first going to talk to you about the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray and I bought this in the States, it's now available over here. This is such a good product. I think it's about £25 so it's not something that you could just buy on a whim, it's something that I would want to know worked and that people enjoyed that people enjoyed using before I spent that much money, a quarter of a hundred pounds on a setting spray. But compared to a lot of them out there, it's one of the best I've used. You get 120 ml of product. It's silicone free, alcohol free and oil free. It's got coconut water. So you can apply this to clean skin before makeup to prime. You can use it to set your makeup and you can also use it during the day just as a refresh. Now, I must admit I don't do that. It's a little bit too pricey for me to use it as that and I'd rather use it as the primer and the setting spray. I really like that it's a three-in-one product, even though I only really use it as the two-in-one. So I will go in with a couple of spritzes of this before I do my makeup. It just nearly knocked myself out. It just makes your skin feel really hydrated and ready for makeup application. And then I also use it to set my makeup. Now the finish of this is kind of like a bit of a tacky residue, which is perfect to prime the skin and also perfect for setting makeup. It doesn't leave me with little circles or splodges, the spray is non-offensive, it smells incredible with it being coconut, the packaging is gorgeous, I love this, I definitely would recommend it. And this next product I feel a little bit guilty talking about because it was so expensive but it's something that I've wanted for a long time and I was going to buy it when I was out in the States in the summer but when I swatched it I saw it had quite a lot of glitter in it and when it comes to bronzers, this is the bronzer, I don't like them to be too heavily shimmery if that makes sense. And then I kept seeing reviews about it, I kept seeing people using it, and I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna give it a go. It looks incredible whenever anyone wears it. I'm wearing it today, it's the bronzer that I've got on, although I need to sort out my lighting with this camera because I never think that my makeup shows up the way that it does in real life, if that makes sense. But this is one of the Hourglass Ambient Bronzers, and this is Luminous Bronze Light. So I believe this is one of their newer shades. It's got like a marble effect, and it looks very, very light in the pan. It looks like it would not be a bronzer, it's more of a highlight. Um, it's so weird, it looks so different on the skin. It makes you look healthy and really warm. It goes on so effortlessly and beautifully. It really just kind of, it doesn't sit on the skin, it just looks like you're a little bit bronzed. And I absolutely adore this. It's something that I only really use for special occasions because it was so expensive. It's definitely worth having a look into. I love their powders, I rave about them too much probably. Um, I'm yet to try one of their blushes, but this is an incredible bronzer. The formula, the color, the shade, everything about it, I love. They sell these in Space NK, so if you're around one, go and have a look and have a bit of a swatch in store. Or maybe get someone to pop it on your face so that you can see what it looks like because it definitely goes on different and 10 times better onto the face than it does when you just have a quick swatch on the back of your hand. A couple of random favourites. I have a book to show you and this is the this is 642 Tiny Things to Write About and I wanted to share this with you, not only because I've been loving filling mine in this month, but because I thought it would make a really good stocking filler. So this has in here, it's a little book and this is this is brand new and it basically has lots of different ideas in here 
questions and things for people to write about. Just a little bit of inspiration. I love using this when I've just got five or 10 minutes and just to have a little bit of downtime, even before bed, just to kind of relax my mind and just as a distraction from the normal day to day. I'll give you some examples. Write your life story in five sentences. Write why the giant wishes he was small. Write about a lie you once told. And it's just a really lovely book. I think it's just a really nice idea and I've really enjoyed using mine this month and that is why I wanted to include it. How much do you wanna bet that I'm the first person on YouTube to ever feature an air freshener in a favorites video? Does that make me really sad or like I'm onto something? This is one of the Airwick plug-in air fresheners. You can get them in Morrisons, Tesco, Sainsbury's, Asda, anywhere. So basically you get the refill that you pop into the bottom and then you plug this in. It's got five different settings so it's kind of lets out like a, a little bit of scent or a lot of scent. I'm going to pop this down now before I spill it. The reason why it's in my favourites is because they, I was in Morrisons the other day, I needed a couple more and they brought out their Christmas scents. So they have a mulled wine one, a pine tree one, a winter berries, and also a mince pie fragrance. And I smelt the mince pie fragrance in the shop and was immediately hooked and popped them in my basket. Got them home, plugged them in, and they are incredible. They are the best smelling air fresheners that I've ever smelt. If you are in a supermarket and you happen to pass that aisle, smell them. My mum has been and bought them. I've raved about them to everybody. Honestly, they smell incredible. They make the house smell so warm and Christmassy and sweet and they're just delicious. Honestly, try them. A couple of shoe favourites before I go and these are my Stan Smiths. I've had these for quite a while but it's only really been the past few weeks that I've been wearing these almost every day. Um, as you know, I always wear my black Converse and I was trying to switch it up a little bit. So this is what they look like. I have the navy blue ones. So the back have the little bit of the navy blue print on the back. They are all white and then just with a little bit of navy blue and they go with everything. They are so comfy and casual. I love the way they look. I was a bit scared to try these at first, but I really, really like them. They're quite classically cool, if, if that's even a thing. These are actually from ASOS and the day that I'm uploading this, there is 20% off. So if you've got any Christmas presents you wanna go and get, or you like those shoes, or you need a pair of shoes or a new jumper, today's the day, ASOS have 20% off. Heard it here, you've heard it all over social media because everyone is raving about it because it's not often ASOS have a 20% off discount and um, it's definitely worth making use of it if you see anything on there that you like. Complete other end of the scale in terms of the shoe and the price point. These were about 16 pounds from Primark and they are my favorite boot that I've ever owned. I featured them in my Primark haul a few days ago. They are black with kind of gunmetal gray stars on in all different sizes. They're not too high. I love the shape of them. They are so comfortable. They go with so many different outfits. They just look really wintry and Christmassy. I love them. I was in store last week and they still had these in stock. So if you fancy a pair, go and see if they've got them in your local shop. So they are all my favorites this month, a real random bunch. I'm just gonna share with you the stuff that I'm gonna be giving away. And this is just to say a massive thank you for sticking by me this month, for watching my videos, for all of your lovely comments, and just being generally wonderful as usual. So first things first is a Real Technique sponge. Not this one, it will be clean, it will be still in its packaging and not quite as gross. I'm determined to convert everybody onto using the foundation sponge. Then I'm also gonna be giving away the Rimmel Exaggerate Lip Liner that I spoke about. Also one of the Soap and Glory masks, the Radiance ones, and last but not least, the little book that I spoke about, the 642 things to write about. I will leave everything you need to know in the description box below, as well as links and the giveaway rules and where to find me on social media and everything like that. To enter the giveaway, all you have to do is be subscribed to my YouTube channel. It's free, it's so easy to make an account and just click that subscribe button and it makes such a difference to me. I will leave all the other details and everything like that down below. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Best of luck in the giveaway and I will see you all tomorrow with the last of the Vlogtober videos. Bye!